Have you ever watched these shows and wondered what the HGTV star's own homes look like? From dreamworthy to swoonworthy, and even get your feet dirty on the farm vibes. Stay tuned for the inside scoop into the gorgeous real life homes of HGTV stars. Tarek El Moussa of Flipper Flop has had some amazing homes. There's the 6,300 square foot Your Belinda California house he and co star and now ex wife Christina Hawk spent $1.5 million renovating, and his so called bachelor dad pad in Costa Mesa, California. In 2020, the HGTV star and his current wife, Heather Ray El Moussa, purchased an oceanfront home in Newport Beach, California, which they share with Tarek's kids from his marriage with Hawk. Interestingly, the couple didn't intend to live in the house, the couple's rep told People magazine. Tarek originally bought it as a flip, but then they decided to make it their new home. They showed off the rooftop deck with stunning views on Instagram, and in a 2021 episode of Flipping 101, the newlyweds showed off even more. The gorgeous black and white kitchen, family room with statement fireplace, and elegant dining room with wine cooler. Christina on the co-star Christina Hawk has also done her own real estate shopping. In 2021, the HGTV star laid out $2.5 million for a modern farmhouse in Tennessee, which she absolutely fell in love with. The property sits on 23 acres and includes a front porch with a swing, shiplap, wood beams, and a pool. In 2021, she sold the Newport Beach, California home she formerly shared with now ex-husband Aunt Anstead for $6 million. She traded one beachy property for an exclusive gated community in Dana Point, California she now shares with husband Josh Hall. Like her ex's new digs, Hawks also has to die for views. We're used to Property Brothers star Jonathan Scott rehabbing homes alongside twin brother Drew Scott, but this time the HGTV star has a new renovation partner, girlfriend Zoe Deschanel. In January 2022, the couple announced that they were moving into the Brentwood, California home they bought in July 2020 for $9.5 million after months and months of renovations. In the July 7th issue of Scott's Magazine Revealed, the Property Brothers star shared about the first time they laid eyes on the 6,300-square-foot colonial-style house. Scott described the home as, quote, magical, and its front lawn as lush. The one-acre property features five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a swimming pool, tennis court, guest house, and gazebo. Inside is a sunny kitchen, study, sunroom, French doors, and primary suite with the second of two fireplaces. It turns out that Jonathan Scott's twin brother Drew Scott and his wife, Linda Fan, purchased a historic home similar to his twin brother's in 2018. Sexiest part of our bedroom. You better say me. Knew <laughs> 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 he was waiting for that. Yeah. The couple shelled out $2.3 million for their Tudor style home, a 4,409 square feet located just west of downtown Los Angeles, which they, of course, extensively renovated to their liking. With help from brother Jonathan, obviously. Inside the home is a number of bedrooms and bathrooms, along with a grand entrance, dramatic staircase, and stunning hardwood floors laid in a herringbone pattern. A white kitchen with conservatory glass windows and a huge marble island, formal dining room, office, and craft room are just a few features. The backyard features a dining terrace with tile flooring and large table that opens up to a large outdoor entertaining space, lounge area with seating, fireplace, and of course, a pool. Fixer Upper stars Chip and Joanna Gaines are known for their cozy farmhouse style, so it's a given they come home to a stunning farmhouse of their own. Their renovated Waco, Texas farmhouse features a large front porch, gardens, chicken coops, a greenhouse, and lots of land for their big family of seven. Inside the house is their signature shiplap, hardwood floors, black railings leading upstairs, tons of windows with black trim, and French doors throughout. The renovated living room space, complete with a brick fireplace, vaulted ceiling, and wood beams, is the family's, quote, new favorite room in the house. The updated kitchen features a subway tile backsplash, white marble island, and newly painted dark green cabinets. When asked about the cabinets, Joanna told People magazine, I just wanted the space to really evolve with the new addition, and I just thought it was time for a change. Since 2008, viewers have enjoyed watching designer Hilary Farr and her team transform spaces on Love It or List It, while realtor and co-star David Visentine finds a new house that checks off all the boxes homeowners want. The HGTV series was filmed in Toronto, where Farr was born and currently lives, until moving to Raleigh, North Carolina in 2014. 
Farr has lived in her Toronto home since 1996, and knowing her, we imagine she's added her own personal touch. The house maintains much of its classic design elements and charm, including an open layout, which Farr sometimes likes to close off with pocket doors. She explained to Heavy Magazine, I like the concept of open plan, but I also like the idea of being able to close those spaces off. Farr's kitchen has dark wood cabinets and gray countertops with granite surfaces on the island. The backyard has an entertaining space with an apple tree Farr planted herself. For someone who's always on the go, it sounds like Farr has a comfortable place to call home. HGTV's David Bromstad, Design Star Season 1 winner and My Lottery Dream Home host, had put off finding his own dream home for a while. As he told the Orlando Sentinel in January 2020, I'm so busy finding everyone their dream home, I'm neglecting my own. In 2021, the Minnesota native, now based in Orlando, Florida, after living in Miami for 12 years, was finally ready to search with an open mind. In July 2021, HGTV aired My Lottery Dream Home, David's Dream Home, in which Bromstad, accompanied by a close friend, stepped into his client's shoes and found a house that hit him hard. He plans to put, quote, lots of David Bromstad touches on the five-bedroom, four-bathroom Tudor-style home. Though the $950,000 price point was above his expectations, the kitchen and backyard oasis with pool, outdoor kitchen, and guest house ultimately won him over. It felt like home, right? It, did. it felt like home the, the energy, second I everything. walked into it. In December 2021, viewers got to see Bromstad and his sisters help him get the place holiday ready in HGTV's My Lottery Dream Home holiday extravaganza. Alice in Victoria turns historic downtown Chicago homes into high-end masterpieces on HGTV's Windy City Rehab. What she also did was call a five-bedroom, five-bathroom house in the city her newly minted home. In 2019, Victoria showed off the 5,025-square-foot home, describing its custom European touches and explaining how she combined old and new elements. The home features two custom fireplaces and a showpiece marble kitchen, including a large island with waterfall edge and gold range hood. She mentioned on Instagram that for her, waking up to her kitchen, quote, never gets old. The second floor is home to a luxurious primary suite with marble bath, while the back patio features an outdoor grill and small entertainment area. Surprisingly, she listed it in September 2020 for $2.29 million, selling it about a year later for $2.15 million. The property was at one point taken off the market because of a pending lawsuit. You might remember these lawsuits led to a falling out between Victoria and former business partner and friend Donovan Eckhart in season two. No word on where the designer lives now. Jasmine Roth of HGTV's Help I Wrecked My House and Hidden Potential shared the story of her new house with HGTV. In August 2020, she, husband Brett Roth, and daughter Hazel moved in after three years of working on it. The Huntington Beach, California pad has a cool, slightly retro brown facade that pops against its white trim. Roth explained her desire to, quote, create a cheerful, whimsical home for her daughter, whom she had while building the house. Inside are multiple fireplaces, a unique word search design on a wall leading upstairs, and a white and light oak kitchen with open shelving and part granite, part wood island. One of her favorite parts of the house is the 3D wood accent wall in her bedroom. Her new house is located only a few blocks from her old one, which she showed off in 2017. In 2014, Aaron and Ben Napier's Laurel, Mississippi home was featured in Southern Weddings magazine. Soon after, they landed their hit HGTV show Hometown, which led to the spin-off Hometown Takeover, a furniture line, two retail stores, and a book. We never planned any of this. Not one thing that's happened in our life was planned. So what exactly is so special about the couple's 1925 Craftsman Cottage that it caught the attention of HGTV producers? Apparently, a lot. The two-story cottage includes a study, a dining room with a wooden table Ben made by himself. It also features a cozy living room with a built-in bookcase and a kitchen with light wood cabinets. Our favorite part, though, is the huge front porch, where they love to relax after a long day. In 2018, Mina Starsiak hawk star of HGTV's Good Bones, was ready for a larger home for her growing family with husband Stephen Hawk. So they bought the empty lot next door to their house in Fountain Square, the neighborhood in Indianapolis, Indiana, where they renovate homes. Mina talked to HGTV about the purchase, sharing, "...the neighborhood is our home. I really can't imagine living anywhere else." The three-story, 2,900-square-foot house was inspired by the couple's love for Charleston, South Carolina. 
It features architectural details like big columns, large balconies, porch fans, and black iron fencing. The main floor features engineered vinyl plank flooring with herringbone design, turquoise velvet dining room chairs, and a white marble kitchen with an island, stainless appliances, farmhouse sink, and a custom range hood. Upstairs are several bedrooms, including the nursery and primary suite. Plus, there's a gym, office, doggy spa, and a backyard with lounge and dining spaces. So what's Stephen Hawke's opinion on the renovations? He shared this with HGTV. I feel like she thought of every detail. It's perfect. Surprised to see Jonathan Knight of New Kids on the Block hosting Farmhouse Fixer on HGTV? You're not alone. However, Knight is not new to country life. In fact, he grew up on a large property with lots of animals. After New Kids on the Block split up in 1994, Knight started his foray into flipping houses after a friend asked for his help. Now he fell in love and has a show to live up his new obsession with house flipping. When not touring with NKOTB, Knight lives on his Massachusetts farm, adding, my mom had a two-bedroom farmhouse and couldn't care for all the land anymore, so we snatched up her house, then bought two across the street. Mom's in one, and my sister's in another. The compound also includes a restored 1700s-era barn, used for family gatherings, greenhouse, and gardens. The house where Knight resides with longtime partner Harley Rodriguez has dark hardwood floors, deep blue walls, and a white kitchen with windows galore. Designers Nate Berkus and Jeremiah Brent moved from New York to Los Angeles in 2015. Here, they purchased a six-bedroom, seven-bathroom, 9,000-square-foot historic Spanish colonial. After moving in, they updated the home with antique marble flooring and new kitchen surfaces and fixtures, among other updates. Only two years later, they sold it for $11.5 million and headed back to New York. According to what Brent told Architectural Digest, it didn't feel like us. They eventually settled in a 3,400-square-foot West Village townhouse. Some standout features of the home include the two-story white oak bookcase, kitchen with exquisite Calicutta marble surfaces, and a master dressing room. In 2021, People magazine confirmed the HGTV stars were moving yet again. They sold the place for $13.5 million and repurchased a Fifth Avenue NYC townhouse they sold back in 2015. While still early, we expect they'll work their designer magic again. Like, one chapter ended, a new chapter starting, but it's been good to us here. In 2017, Scott McGilvery shared a tour of his then brand new Canadian digs to country living. The glam house includes a spacious personal bar and wine cellar, two story living room with fireplace and tall windows, and primary bedroom with balcony, sitting area, fireplace, luxurious bath, and spacious walk in closets. Other notable features are the workshop, home theater, and DIY penny floor in his home office. McGilvery wrote in his blog that he couldn't be happier with the space, saying, I'm in my dream house, in my dream neighborhood, with the people I love the most. Fixer to fabulous stars Dave and Jenny Mars were new to home renovation in Arkansas when they toured an old farmhouse in desperate need of a facelift. Five kids, a blueberry farm, and an HGTV show later, they've firmly established their roots and love helping others experience the same joy. The farmhouse later underwent another renovation after expanding their family again. The new renovations include a new laundry room with gray cabinets, reconfigured kitchen, remodeled guest bathroom, and nursery. We also shouldn't forget to mention it also showcases a large screened porch and a variety of animals. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about HGTV stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.